Hello world, welcome to the 27th video on my YouTube channel where I am creating my own digital assistant like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. Please subscribe to watch my progress as I continue to build the capabilities that I want. This is the fifth video in my Twitter bot playlist where I'm automating Twitter with a Python library called Tweepy or Tweepy. In this video, I'm going to pull the top five trending topics for a given location. In my case, I'm going to see the top trending topics in the USA. Then my program will give me the option to compose a tweet using one of these topics. I'm also going to show a quick tip on how to find locations so you can use them in uh, the different applications that you might want to use. So first, let's check out the Trending Topics program. All right, so the top five um, trending topics in the USA are here. Now, since I'm not logged into Twitter, I don't know a lot about the um, context these are in. So uh, impeachment hearing, we could figure out what that's about. George Zimmerman, we know who he is. Verify Avalanche and Matt Gates. Not pretty sure what that is. Um, if I had a, uh, if I saw one that I wanted to compose a tweet about, I can click yes, and I'm given the option to comp compose a tweet. In this case, I'm not going to because I have nothing to say about these trending topics. I do know that tweeting about trending topics does help build your account. So let's go through the code question, um, the code quickly. So I created a function called trends testing. All right. And since, um, you know, a good portion of this channel is all the capabilities I've shown so far, there's going to be a live version of this where, you know, um, my program is called Shane, where Shane will be active. And so I have to make sure that I do try and accept as much as possible. That way I can catch the errors and it doesn't crash the program. So the first thing you do is you wrap this in a try statement. And then I labeled something called a woe ID. And a woe ID is the where on earth ID that a lot of applications use for weather. And, um, you know, stuff like that where it's not using GPS, it's hard coding an ID of a location. So I spent quite a few days looking for a woe ID list and I couldn't find one, but I did see a code for using this um, weather client that gives you the OID, the woe IDs. So you will need to pip install this, uh, what's it called, library called yweather. So pip install yweather and then you import yweather. Okay, so I'm going to comment out the code for the trends. I'm going to press, I have a uh, Windows and I'm using PyCharm, of course. So I'm going to do control backslash and that comments the whole block of code out. And then I'm going to run this quick weather client and uh, show you how this works. Again, I just press control backslash to uncomment in it. So here we go. We're going to create a weather client, a Y weather client. Then we're going to assign a woe ID. And in these string brackets, you could put where you want. And then we're going to print it. So let's check this out. So I asked for the woe ID for USA. And that gives me this one right here, 23424977. You can see I saved that. So I also put Bossier City, Louisiana. It gave me the woe ID. If that doesn't have any trending topics, though, you're going to get an error. So you can change this to Berlin, for example. Run it again. And it'll give you the woe ID, the where on earth ID for Berlin. 
So that's how I was able to find the topics for uh, USA. So I was able to use that. And that's a cool capability because let's say uh, I become a famous YouTuber and I'm going to give a TED talk or I am going to, you know, do some sort of speech, right? This is the dream world we're in. So I would like to find out what are the trending topics for that city I'm about to go to or what are the trending topics for the state that I'm in or the country that I'm visiting. So I don't know. I think it's pretty cool. If you're trying to create your own hobby uh, applications, you'll need a WoW ID. And that's just a quick way to get it since I could not find an easy to use list with all the WoW IDs. Okay, so what this is, is um, going back to the code. So I manually input the USA where on earth ID. And then I assigned a variable called trends result to this API. So using the TweePy API, it has a method called trends place right here. And then you pass it the USA WoW ID. So for each trend in the trends result, I want um up to five so this is called splicing i believe it's called splicing and you're just telling it i want the first five results so basically the zero width to the fifth you could put number 10 through 70 and it'll just give you that if you wanted to splice it like that and then um in the dictionary this is a list right here this trend result so i want the name of the trends and you saw that when I printed those out. So um, if I use a WoW ID like Bossier City, Louisiana, and there are no um, topics for that, I created an accept to handle that error that says, sorry, there are no trending topics. The rest of the code is simply a uh, decision, um, a question and answer. So would you like to compose a tweet using one of the trends, yes or no? If the decision equals yes, then I get to type my tweet in and it'll update my status with it and it'll say tweet successful. Um, if I say no, you saw that code, it says goodbye. Pretty simple. Um, very simple code, nothing advanced here. I just wanted to show that off. Um, my Twitter isn't growing as fast as I had uh, hoped for, but it's still a lot of fun uh doing running my twitter autonomously using python uh, i hope you enjoyed this video i hope it helps somebody out there please subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell like this video and leave a comment if you have any tips on how i can grow my twitter autonomously so um, i recommend before you leave a comment you watch all my videos to see what i've done so far um, you know, some of the generic stuff that I know about a Twitter account. And uh, if you have any more suggestions after watching the playlist, please let me know. I would love to automate it. Uh, one thing I probably won't automate is when people mention me or reply directly to me um, and say, hey, here's some tips. I'm going to reply directly back. So when Shane goes live, um, what I want to do is if I say turn on Twitter notifications, I would love to say, hey, at bjones6, so go ahead and follow me, at bjones6, um, I really liked your last YouTube video. I would like to reply myself and say, hey, thanks for the support. And so I would like to keep the relationships I have on YouTube and social media with myself. Um, Shane can advise me, but I would like to reply directly to my fans, if you will, which is funny with somebody with only a thousand subscribers and getting less than a hundred views. But still, I, you know, it's important to me to, um, you know, maintain a relationship with anybody who wants to have a relationship with me. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Goodbye, world.